Good morning all. This is Spacewalker from the Spacewalker Ray Shop in Vail, North Carolina. I just thought I'd uh, share with all uh, my method for holding a car while it's being painted. Uh, it, it's very simple and I think I'm going to make a new product to sell. I'm going to be selling uh, four balsa sticks. They're one inch by six inch, which is the same size that I'm holding the new car that I'm working on. This is going to be a new limited car. Uh, it, of course, it's going to feature the zero friction slide guides. And I'm making a fourth wheel out of balsa that will be attached to the car and uh, going to try a four fender limited car. Uh, also, uh, many of you might remember Nellie Faye. Uh, it had a problem at the race in uh, December where the wheel wasn't able to be measured. We can see that there's a slice through the front fender here where the calipers can fit to, me to measure the height of the wheel. And some of you might be having a problem with fenders, with the fenders hitting the rail. As you can see, uh, you have to put a, an angle in them to make sure that the wheels don't uh, hit. Anyway, this is the method that I use for paint the paint stand. You can hold it in your hand or you can clamp it in a vise, whichever way you prefer. And this is just a shop hint and I will be making the six the one inch by six inch balsa sticks available on my website. Here's the new new car. Uh, I prefer to hold the car in my hand so I can rotate it for painting. Uh, you know, you can also clamp it in a vise or some other kind of device. And uh, I use it prim uh, vice primarily for letting the paint dry. Now I'll show you how, to, how easy this is to take this balsa stick off. You just break it off like that. And it did leave a little bit of also sticking up there where it's not flat. That can be sanded off, but if you have a dremel tool with a sanding disc on it, just crank that up. and smooth that out like so and I, you can detach that or depending on how complicated your paint scheme is going to be uh, if you have a complicated paint scheme you need to detach it so you can handle the car a little bit easier but sometimes I do leave it on there because of the paint scheme I'm using and Say so we put our paint scheme on, we're ready for our next phase. You'll need to take your balsa stick and cut a new flat surface. This is a razor saw you can buy at a hobby shop. You really need one of those in the shop to do various things. Then I take my Loctite super glue that I buy at Lowe's and spread some glue back on the stick where you've made your nice clean cut. And we reattach the balsa stick. Press down. This is going to be a little bit uh, 
it sticks a lot easier for before you put any paint on it. I'm placing this back in the same place I took it off. Make sure it's good and dry before you start handling it. This product that I'm uh, the product I'm going to sell is these four one by six balls of sticks, and that'll paint a lot of cars. Because, like you saw, see, uh, once you, when you've attached it, then you can uh, cut a new clean uh, part, uh, surface and reattach it to the car for the next step. Okay, that's good and dry. And now you're ready to uh, paint your car again after you put on your paint scheme, taped it off, whatever you want to do. You can take, a, take it off while you're sanding. I leave it on while I'm sanding between coats, which is very easy to do. And be sure if you use the zero friction slide guides or whatever, you need to tape off uh, the section where the axle, axles go into the car. I use this tape that you can buy at an auto supply store. And I'll just show you that how I do it. Just cut it off square. Place it over your axle hole like so. Take your exacto blade. Trim it off and then go to your next axle hole. So that'll keep the paint out of the axle hole. Alright, and again, I, this, car, this car I'm going to put a kind of a, quite a bit of paint or tape on it to uh, put on my design, and I also use this for that purpose. It's a low adhesive and it comes off pretty easy and does not paint and bleed. I would spray it, whatever, and then put it in the uh, vise to dry. And we'll break this off again because I'm going to be putting my trim on. And there's your stick off. And if you want to reuse it, just cut some of it off to get a nice clean flat surface again. It's hard to stick, re-stick it after the uh, you put glue on it. And you can sand this again to get the excess glue off to make a nice flat surface and bare surface without paint, it's better to try to put it back where there is no paint. And the placement that I make right here, and I put the uh, weight pocket tape that I ha also sell on my site, that will cover up where you attach the balsa stick. And good luck and put a beautiful design on your car.